Let's see how just flex TV. You know, see them are watching a 4K and a 3D. You know it good, you know. Can I watch you like cinema? Yes, so blessings, blessings, my people. Blessings, blessings to each and every one. Just a check in, cause we give you guys some updates. Well, peeps, you know the measurement. Hope everybody are right in the best of health. Yes, my people. You know, so we're not even going to hold back. We're not doing a long talking over here. We're going to just kickstart and move into our first, first update. Yes, my people, where a man was shot dead last night at Lindsay in St. Catherine, specifically on Peck Street, which is notorious for nighttime prostitution. He has been identified as 33 year old Shavator Beck. It, otherwise known as Beto from Princess Field near Linstead. Highly placed sources told the beacon that Beckett had just engaged in a transaction with a woman and was leaving the location shortly before 9 pm. Another man reportedly appeared, pretending as though he was seeking to get intimate with a prostitute. He brandished a handgun, shot Beckett several times. Reports are that Beckett ran a short distance before he collapsed and died. A woman who was grazed by one of the bullets was treated at hospital and released. It is said that she is not the person with whom Beckett had just done business with. Right, my people, so look at your screen. This is Beckett. Yes, so Beckett went to a pum pum shop, you know, and when him done, and say right now, make him leave, yeah, a lone gunman appear upon him, right? Shut him up. Yeah, him ran off, drop, you know what that mean? Dead on the spot. You see it? So right now, just to be all the pum pum shop them serious, you know? Yeah, come like this, a man, yeah, wait upon him. You know, just to be just serious, my people. Don't move on to where Dana Lee brother right now. Yes, saying that his sister body have not recovered as yet. So tomorrow morning, they are doing a march at Emancipation Park on Emancipation Day. Right, my people? So he also wrote on his Instagram stories, you know? Yeah, in our text saying that I am ashamed and your dying efforts to ignore and push this case. A loof is sickening. Where is your art for the people of this country? Should we be one sided for all too long? It is a cruel irony to celebrate a day fashioned for emancipation. Tomorrow you will march for the reputation of the flag but cast away the love and safety for our people. I am deeply ashamed of it all and for the immature who cannot understand the political grounds at which they stand. Just to be... Yeah, the man attack real. So the man come back again and say, I pity you for the ignorance who view our effort as centralized and focused. I pray you will receive knowledge for this case like the rest. Is a replication and a reflection of the lies they tell. The bureaucracy, they force you to permit the promises they never brought to life and the prejudicial biases that we are treated and grounded on. Right, so just to be the brother really a lick out on the system. Yeah, and thing we just whoop, you know. Danali body recovered. And just to be a fam them can get some closure. And we need justice at the same time, you sight? Yes, so Danali brother right now, feel it, not even him alone. You know, alone not even know or feel it in these times. Cause it could have it could happen to anybody. You know, it could happen to anybody. But we're glad for right now. Mm? So right now we see local light and I just buy the citizens why we can't even feel so good because if it never be up to the citizens and local vloggers this case I would have just sweep under the rug but peeps just share in the comment in the section below you know not if I do no more talking you know we out and them for no side your eye meds representing for just blacks just next tell them say prior works When the heat ends I try for you Was see you die a hurt The most I alert If I them alone, them alone Yeah man, just Bex, you don't know your success getting them upset, you know what I mean?